What's up, guys? We're really living in a, in a day and time right now where people really love to get their bang for their buck. They like to get more for less. And if that's you, you're going to love today's video because I have some inexpensive fragrances that smell, well, expensive. <laughs> I know you like this one. Let's talk about it. What's up, YouTube? I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I tell you guys how you can not only smell your best, but how you can look your best as well. I think you do yourself a great disservice if you go out of the house every day and you smell good, but you look like crap. All right, so that's why I like to throw some style tips in there. So if you're into those kind of things, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well. That way, when you upload new content, you'll get notified. All right, so you see the title of today's video, man. Listen, I got some inexpensive fragrances that smell really expensive. They smell like they're well done. I really smell some quality in these fragrances. So I have a few that I want to talk about today. So I'm going to run the intro. When we come back, we'll jump right into it, man. So if you want to see what I got on the list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. This first fragrance is one that I've talked about maybe once or twice on the channel, but when we talk about value proposition, paying not so much for a fragrance, but getting a lot for your money, I have to talk about this fragrance. It's from the house of Rasasi, and this is called Sotur Wa. Sotur Wa. Now, what you're going to get with this fragrance is a nice, oh my God, nice opening. That walnut is really prominent in this fragrance. It has a nice walnut accord in the opening of this fragrance. You get that, you get some cinnamon and primarily cardamom in the opening as well. That lends a little bit of a sweetness. That cinnamon uh, cardamom combination, that spicy, slightly sweetness that you get from those spices. I really enjoy that. Pairs so well with that walnut in the opening of this fragrance. In the heart, uh, you get some lavender. On the dry down, you get some sandalwood. That's where that creaminess comes in. This is one of my favorite inexpensive fragrances in my entire collection. And again, it smells really of high, really nice, really of high quality. I love it, man. If you can find it, get your hands on it. I think on the out there on the great market, you can find it for between 45 and 60 bucks is what I've been seeing. So check it out. It's from the house of Rosasi. It's called Sotur. All right, the next fragrance that I want to talk about, really been enjoying this fragrance because it smells a lot like Killian's Angel Share. So this one comes from the house of, um, of course, well, Paris Corner, I think is the brand, I guess the house name, if you want to call it that, from the Amir Collection. This is called Fire Your Desire. Now, the bottle was even nice on this one as well, man. Check out the bottle on this. Again, really nice bottle, you know? So you, I feel like you really get your value for your money on this one. Another one that's around that. $50, $60 price point. And again, this is the best Killian's by Killian's Angel Share clone that I've put my nose on. All right. Again, I know a lot of people say that uh, the other Latafa fragrance, uh, that's missed, the name of it is missing my memory right now, uh, smells better, uh, more closer to Angel Share, but this is the one in my humble opinion. And again, it really smells of pretty good quality here. So check it out from the Amir collection from Paris's Corner. This is called Fire your desire all right guys another fragrance that comes from that whole paris corner fragrance brand from the amir collection this is called frenetic delicios and this one smells a lot like of course feb delicios from uh the house of christian dior from their private collection okay but this one man listen they got it i mean again they nailed that dna in this bottle and again it doesn't smell uh, super cheap. It really smells like some quality went into this bottle as well. So, like I said, I mentioned this one before. If you're looking for a good, you know, alternative to Feb Delicios, this is as close as I've ever smelled a fragrance that has come to capturing that DNA. And this again is from the house of, well, Emir, the Emir collection from Paris's Corner. This is called Frenetic Delicios. <laughs> 
All right, guys, now this next fragrance is also one that comes from Paris's Corner. This is the Ministry of Oud Collection. This is called Oud Satin. Oud Satin, and if you're listening to the name, you probably know exactly what this smells like. Yep, it smells like Oud Satin Move from the House of Amazing Francis Kirk John. They did it. They captured the DNA again. It doesn't smell as high quality as Oud Satin Move, no. But it does smell like uh, they put some nice quality ingredients into this fragrance. And like I said, this is an Oud Rose fragrance. If you like Oud and Rose, if you like Oud Satin Mood, you want to get something a little bit cheaper to kind of use this and run through this instead of using that fragrance because it's more expensive. Or, of course, if you smelled it before and it's a little bit outside of your price range. Whatever the reason, this is a great alternative. And this is an inexpensive fragrance that smells more expensive. So check it out. This is called Oud Satin. And last but not least, guys, I think all of these pretty much outside of the first one have been from Paris's Corner. Uh, this one's from a brand, well, from the line. It's called Pandora Scents. Uh, but it's called Cheruto Tobacco Vanille. Cheruto Tobacco Vanille. And, of course, what does it smell like? Well, it's in the name right there. <laughs> like Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Again, the closest one-to-one -one clone I've smelled. And like I said, uh, this is kind of a theme of the list. I'm not saying these fragrances smell like the exact quality of the original, especially these ones that are clones, uh, with the exception of Sotoua, which is not really a clone of anything. But this one smells, they smell really, really high quality. They don't smell like a $40 or $50 fragrance is basically the point of the video. And that's no dis different with this one right here. Like I said, Cheruto Tobacco Vanille. Smells like they really put some quality into the fragrance. Again, definitely forty or fifty dollars, more than forty or fifty dollars worth, uh, in my humble opinion, man. So make sure you check this one out as well. This is called Taruto Tobacco Fini. But that is it, guys. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed the video today. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like comment and subscribe and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or maybe even find the information entertaining because i'm your guy darren i'm the bowtie fragrance guy i love to look good and of course i love to smell amazing so until next time guys keep looking good keep smelling even better i'll catch you on the flip side peace